Buenos dias, como estas, amigos? Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic food review, just for you and just for you. I am downtown Toronto at Young and Eglinton. There's a Chipotle right behind me. I'm gonna zip out and grab one of their amazing burritos that you guys keep telling me about. This is the first time I've ever been to a Chipotle. Let's go. All right, we're back. Really expensive place, guys. Thanks for the warning, man. That was, uh, so I did a chicken burrito. Uh, I did the white tortilla. Um, so chicken, I did the two types of beans. I did, I don't remember, I did the white rice. Uh, and the one thing I added to it would have been guacamole and they charged $2.21 for the guacamole. So it came to $15.21 for a burrito. and a water. I bet they don't pay that in Mexico. I'm pretty sure. Holy cow. $15. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know, there's another place, I'm not sure if it's in the States, I know it's in Canada, and it's called Mucho Barrito. And they have uh, it's almost the same setup as these guys. And I think their guacamole is only 99 cents. I could be wrong. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to go to Mucho Burrito and, and com uh, compare them. Price, and I'll get the exact same thing. All right, here we go. I also went hot. So I got the hot sauce, um, the guacamole. I can't remember what else I put on it. They go through all the steps, and you're like, yes or no, or yes or no. But... Uh, maybe if I bite into it, I'll be able to remember. So there you go, guys. That is one huge burrito. That's got to be like at least a pound of food right there. So maybe maybe $15 for a pound of food. It smells like a nice tortilla shell. Smell. Scratch it. Sniff it. Good. Okay, we're going to start at the top and work our way down to the other top, which is down here. Okay. Here we go, guys. Eating a Chipotle chicken burrito just for you and just for you. Mmm. Oh, yeah, I put... Uh, I don't know if it's uh, ranch or whatever they call it. Put some type of a salad dressing thingy on top of that. I guess it'd be called sour cream. That would be the word. Very flavorful, very warm right now. Um, the tortilla shell is obviously crazy soft. Mm. It is oozing out everywhere. And once again, I didn't grab napkins. Thanks to McDonald's, we have a napkin. And it is falling apart. I'm gonna need this water really quickly. Wow. Their hot sauce is um, hot. The chicken is very good. I can taste it through all the other stuff that we put on there. Like I said, I had the white rice, the brown, the dark beans, the lighter beans, uh, and guacamole and a whole bunch of other stuff. So guys, I'm gonna polish this off and I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay. 
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Chipotle's Mexican Grill. That was the chicken burrito. It was fantastic. I am really full. I am actually sweating. It's still resonating in my mouth. It was really nice and spicy because I added more spice to it. Uh, so it was very flavorful. I eventually got to the chicken. I guess it was slid down into my burrito a little bit, but it was nicely um, barbecued charred flavor. It was really good. But uh, so on my rating scale, I'm going to recommend it. But for the price, uh, I'm going to go indifferent because that's like that's a lot of money. Fifteen dollars for a burrito and a water. So let me know where you're from. If you have uh, either a, um, a mucho burrito uh, or a chipotle or another type of Mexican place that you can walk in and they'll make the burrito right in front of you. And let me know if that was way too much money or not because I think that's way too much money for a chicken burrito. Uh, like I said, the guacamole was $2.21. Let me know how much you pay for guacamole. Why is it so expensive? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, on Friday, if we can get some thumbs up, on Friday, we're gonna be going to uh, Wurst, which is a German restaurant for all my awesome German followers and subscribers. They wanted me to try some of this thing, or this thing called uh, beer wurst. So it's like a sausage and some sauce on top. And it's supposed to be really, really good. All right, guys, so let's get some, some, some thumbs up for that. Ding, 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 ding. And we will talk to you Friday. Ken out. Boop. Amigos, como estas? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. One of the foods you guys just keep telling me I gotta go and try. And I'm gonna do that again. There's so many people around here, it's unbelievable. But this place is authentic food, and I don't know what else to say. This guy's trying to back in, I think. At Young and Eglinton to try a Chipotle, because you guys have been asking me to do this for quite a while. And my voice is squeaking like a kind of thing. Holy shit. Now if I ordered a beer or if I put anything else on that, I'm not sure if it would have been, the beer definitely would have increased the price, but uh, but they did have beer, which was kind of cool. I just couldn't bring it up to my car. <laughs> Ever since the accident. $15?